Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a very quick look at the Unitech Y3032 Drive Docking Station. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so this is a drive docking station and cloning tool from Unitech. Now, this is a pretty cost effective way of cloning drives or mounting drives to your computer should you need to. So say for instance you've got an old three and a half inch drive and you want to get some data off, on, off of it onto your new PC or laptop or whatever. This is a really nice easy way of doing it. There's no screws or anything to deal with. Literally just put the drive into the caddy and that's it. It will then appear in your computer as a drive. So you can pick, cherry pick files off there that you need, delete the rest, clean the drive and use it as a backup solution. Or alternatively if you're upgrading to a newer SSD then you can use it to transfer your old hard disk drive into your new SSD. Just put the two drives into the dock and then you can use it to copy files from one to the other. You can do that within Windows or from your Mac or Linux or whatever you want to do. Entirely up to you. It mounts as a generic mountable drive in Windows or whatever operating system. Or if you want to use it as a standalone, you just turn the device off, unplug the USB cable and then you can use the hardware button on the front to initiate a disk clone. Now the only disclaimer with the cloning is the source drive must be smaller than the destination for obvious reasons. You can't copy a larger drive to a smaller size. So if you, that's what you're trying to do, there is a way around it if you want to use a, say for instance you've got like in this case a one or two terabyte hard disk drive and you've got a new SSD but you've only got say 150 gigabytes of data, you can then connect this up to something like Macrium or EaseUS software within Windows and you can use the caddy in that fashion and it will manually resize the folders and the directories and the partitions accordingly. So this is pretty inexpensive, you're looking at like £30 in the UK so that works like probably about $35 in the US, slightly more in Canada but it's a really nice little unit, quite handy to have on your desk just permanently connected to your desktop PC if you're in the line of work where you move a lot of data or you have to copy drives or you're doing virus checking, that kind of thing, for the PC enthusiast, this is a, a really cool little toy. Now you've got LEDs on the front which tell you what's going on. So you've got a power LED, you've got an A LED, a B LED, which relates to the specific drive. So A is the source drive at the back, B will be the destination at the front, or if you're using it in just caddy mode, then both of those drives will appear in Windows so you can see which one it is. You've also got indicator lights on the front for 25, 50, 75 and 100%. So when it's in disk cloning mode, when it's running standalone, you have a visual representation of how long the clone is going to take. Now speaking of which, normally these devices, when they're doing a one for one clone in standalone mode, they will take an awfully long time because they do it literally sector by sector. There isn't any intelligent software within the firmware to say, right there is data in this sector, there isn't in that one so skip it. It literally does a sector by sector copy. So if you're doing a larger hard drive, say a one or two terabyte drives, it's not unusual to see these kind of tasks take five, six hours or more. So obviously do be aware of that. But for smaller drives, uh, literally a little bit earlier on today, I copied the 120 gig drive to a 240 gig drive and there was about 70 gigabytes of data on there and it took about 30 minutes which in my mind is pretty good and the actual software that I was using reported that I was getting around about a 30 megabyte per second read speed and a 2.5 gigabits per second write speed so that's uh, that's pretty decent obviously the laptop itself it has to take some of that on board because it's moving the data from one to the other so obviously it's not going to be as fast as it possibly can be for the rated speeds of SATA 3 but still for half an hour's work for copying a drive that's not bad at all. So anyway this has been a quick look at the Unitech Y3032. Uh, if you want one you can click check out the links below. Uh, in the meantime I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.